But first, a man who investigators say may have been involved in a drive by shooting is shot and killed by deputies. What a witness is telling us only on two. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kathy Hernandez. Sheriff's deputies chased a suspected drive by shooter in North Harris County. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says the driver got out of the car and opened fire on deputies. Witnesses say they heard deputies tell the man to put his gun down several times. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan joining us now live from the scene with the latest. Rowan, good morning. Hey, Andy, Kathy, good morning. The scene now clear. A witness was interviewed for hours by deputies tells me he was here at the time of the shooting, witnessed it all, and as the suspect was going down, he said the suspect kept shooting at deputies. This surveillance video apparently shows the moments police say a man fires shots by a home on Cora Street near State Highway 249. You can see at least four gunfire, Lydia and her family inside. I'm on the phone with the dispatcher that there he's shooting the house. He's shooting the house where well, we already have a cop, you know, in route and they were already over there when he came back. Again, he saw the cop and turned back around, and that's whenever they started chasing him. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said the man led officers on a three-mile chase, crashing at Veterans Memorial and the Beltway. It was reported by one of the deputies that the male was armed. The male began running on foot as units began to arrive in the area. Four deputies now chasing the suspect across a construction site to this Exxon gas station. This witness who we are not identifying was there. I'm watching the whole thing. I was like, oh, oh. Then I arrest them, got to shoot. Them got no choice. He was on the ground, he still was shooting. I know deputies were injured in this shooting. The sheriff's office is invest internal investigation to look into the deputy shooting along with the district attorney's office. Live from North Harris County, Robon Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Rowan.